Hi, fellow classmates and uh, Professor Martin. Uh, I want to talk about my hero uh, when I was growing up and how a television series uh, was a cultural influence for me. And I also think that it was a cultural influence for our society. Um, now I'm going to go into the 70s. I know that maybe some of you don't know the reference of this particular show that I'm going to be, TV series that I'm going to talk about. Uh, maybe you watched it on, um, I don't know, that, that show that shows past, you know, series and stuff like that. Um, retro programming. I forgot the name of it right now. Sorry. Uh, the show for me was Mary Tyler Moore, the Mary, the Mary Tyler Moore show. And um, this was in the 70s. And at that time, there was a cultural paradigm that was shifting. Um, the role of the woman in society, it wasn't anymore where you were just a mom. Matter of fact, it was almost beginning to be looked down upon as just being a mother and raising your children. It was like, wow, I'm a career woman. I'm independent and I can be the producer of a TV uh, station. And that was um, the Mary Tyler Moore show. And, you know, when the show started, um, you know, she can turn the world on with her smile was part of the song. And Mary Tyler Moore is really pretty. And, you know, she would like be in New York and twirl around and throw her hat up in the air. And, you know, it was just this Mary Tyler Moore. And, Mary Tyler Moore was a really nice person still. Like she was sweet. Everybody loved her. Uh, you know, it wasn't the kind of role that women get uh, categorized, categorized as. Like, for example, if you are a woman of power or position or you do really run a network, there's the stereotype later on where she's just a real, you know, B-I-T-C-H, right? Uh, that word goes with that, like, make sure you're not a B-I-T-C-H because, you know, you got to still be a nice person. Um, but Mary Tyler Moore was sweet and caring and loving, and everybody at the station loved her. And she had a, a next-door neighbor named Rhoda. And uh, the only thing about Mary Tyler Moore that I felt bad about is that she never really seemed to be good in romance. Like, she was sweet and wonderful and caring and ran the station. And it was a comedy. So uh, anyway, uh, for me, at w one time in my own personal life, uh, I had I was in high school, and that's when the show was going on. That's how, <laughs> how old I am. Uh, and uh, this one guy that was in my drama class, uh, also he he was my first date. As a matter of fact, my first date was at Star Wars. By the way, can you believe that? Ah. Oh! Okay, anyway, Star Wars, the first Star Wars. I'm not talking about the, you know, the, the sequels, all right? Uh, it was Star Wars and her, his brother chaperoned us. But anyways, he told me, he said, I, I reminded him of, of Mary Tyler Moore. And um, I don't know. I, the only thing is, is now I, 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 I still have not accomplished being the producer of my own, of, of a tele, television station. So anyway. Uh, I think that that had a huge influence on changing uh, women and women coming into the workforce and doing uh, jobs, the same kind of jobs that men do. All right, uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time.